Hey, made a whole people. I don't know what it is. What time is it? Okay, today is May 12th. Right now the time is 8.11. So wherever you are and whoever you are that's feeling anxious, I want to combat that with, I you know, you'll forgive me for saying, because I don't normally say this, combat that with the feeling of getting the Holy Ghost. Now, don't ask me why I say that, but that's just what I see. I see my aunties, who are much larger than me, up and down the aisles getting the Holy Ghost. So, I want you to just concentrate on feeling better. Good morning. And doing better. Because everything is going to be alright. Okay? It is. Just trust me. Wherever you are, that upset, nervous stomach. Ugh. I hate that feeling. And I know it's not me. Because when I'm nervous and I have an upset stomach, I smell like rotten eggs and I don't leave the house. Yeah, it's bad. That hasn't happened to me since I was a kid and it happened the day he told me my rent was going to be increased. Um, so anyway, be good to yourself. Okay, no sense in stressing and worrying. God's going to take care of you. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? It's going to be all right. Just expect it to be, and it will. Okay? I know it's hard, but with practice, things get easier. Practice don't make perfect. Practice makes better. Okay? If we were perfect, we wouldn't be here. I don't know why people teach their kids that, but I guess it's a nice saying. Practice makes perfect. Anyway, practice, practice, practice on just, you know, feeling better and being better doing better. I was supposed to be doing something else this morning. Um, and you will be better, you know? Just keep trying, just keep trying, just keep trying. Oh, this guy gets this paper, he gets all these papers. Oh, I don't like it because it's messy, you know? Anyway. Great, now I got two of these. Oh, okay. Anyway, I feel good with the feeling of that energy that those people must get. See, I wasn't raised on that side of the family where my grandpa's a pastor, and this side, my grandmother's a medium. Um, but eventually, I got the best of both worlds, so I'm happy for that. I'm happy for that of knowing the difference in what it might be like, even though I didn't grow up in the Baptist, Pentecost, whatever they are, church, you know, but that's what I see and that's what I feel. So let's just join in the joyfulness of spirit today. Let's all catch the Holy Ghost and feel it, let it fill us with that spirit and joyfulness that everyone seems to get when they're rolling down the aisles and hooping and hollering and singing and praising the Lord, you know? Let's get that today. So whoever that belongs to, I hope you get that today and so much more. Okay. Yeah, I think book two's gonna be late. <laughs> Tur, later. <laughs> this was me in February. Anywho, I love you. Wish just, just be in peace. Just decide to try to be in peace. Just tell yourself, if I thought I knew peace was like, if I thought I knew what peace was like, what would it be? You know, Dr. Phil asks good questions most of the time. Just think about that. If I thought I knew what peace was, what would it be? And be that. Love you. Love yourself. <laughs> Bye.